Hello, YouTubers. Hello, subscribers. Kisses to all of you. I won't keep you long. I, you know, just got home from getting my nails done. The baby's like, Mommy. And I'm like, Okay. And Daddy said I can do a video, but I got to be quick, I'm sure. Kisses to you guys. Thank you so much for your love and your support. Ah, oh, I am so grateful to each and every one of you and I am loving your comments. Keep them coming. You know, without comments, I would just, I wouldn't know what to do. I probably would have stopped by now. If I didn't have any feedback from you guys, oh God, I feel like I was talking to myself. Kisses, let's get started. Okay, so. This is about Megan and Harry's new home in Malibu. News like TMZ, revealing Megan has her eye on an $8 million plot of land in the exclusive celebrity enclave of Malibu, California. The foundations are already laid for a sprawling 10,000 square foot mansion complete with guardhouse, swimming pool, and six acres of land with A-list neighbors, including the cut. She, to me, she still, I believe that she's still trying to prove to the royals that her and Harry are going to make it in California. I really do believe that. And I don't think that they would be in Montecito without the Oprah show and Netflix and Spotify. And I heard Spotify thought that they were going to get some, some more from her than, than what they gave her. They thought that she was going to talk about her life as a royal. She can't. She couldn't even talk about a time that she was enjoying it. It all had to be negative. I know I switched it. I really went there. I did. I'm there. She didn't talk about, oh, well, when she was going on these charity events, what she did like about it, the culture, and what how they treated her, and how welcome she felt. No, that Fuji, the one that she went, and they were prep, making preparations for three weeks, trying to get ready for Megan to come, she stayed eight minutes and left out of there and didn't wave or thank any of the people. And they were all there to celebrate her. And she was like, I don't need you people. That's how she treated them. Now, if it had been them A-listers that she was trying to hang out with, with the other day and was shaking and doing, she wouldn't have treated them like that. No. Mm -mm. No. Because she wants something from them. She needs them. She needs them to support her TIG. WME told her to get out there and start advertising so that people can start signing up to see what you're about because you're going to need it. Mm -hmm. But I don't see Kardashians why and how she's going to influence me. Are you going to be on one of her commercials? And so that can turn me completely off? I'm just, she's coming guys. This is her way of saying, I will be out with Tig A or they don't. And they just hanging out and just hanging out and just being friendly with everybody. No, Megan moved to the United States to do this. And this hasn't happened. So she's hoping that this Tig thing will do it. Because nothing has worked so far. The book, Netflix. Why would she think that would be a bestseller? Okay, I know I took it there. Sometimes I have a small intro. That's that. Listen, okay, so they're talking about Malibu, okay? Harry doesn't even want to be in Malibu. Harry is running from Malibu. Harry doesn't want to be in a limelight. But look, she puts him right back in the spotlight. Yeah, he was there at the New York Chase. Word on the street is, is he doesn't like L.A. He doesn't like that life. But the more he leaves, the more she pushes him. No, we're, we're, he's going to do everything she tells him to do and then some. And that fake, oh my God, the fake, it's fake. I'm going to prove it. To, it's fake. They're going by this 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 celebrity rule book like Redbird said, what do you say? 
They're going by this rule book of how they are supposed to become popular. But that's for someone that has established th themselves with a pocket full of career and talent. Someone that hasn't trashed their family and said really negative things towards others and be very despicable to her friends. Why would any of those people want to be her friend the way she treats people? Oh, maybe it's something in it for them. Let's get started, guys. Again. The top Hollywood website, TMZ, revealing Megan has her eye on an $8 million plot of land in the exclusive celebrity enclave of Malibu, California. Eight million. The foundations are already laid for a sprawling 10,000 square foot mansion complete with guardhouse, swimming pool, and six acres of land with A-list neighbors, including the Kardashians and Leonardo DiCaprio. Now, the secluded site sits behind private gates in a long driveway, which is said to be of particular interest to the couple, and the total costs, including construction, could reach $18 million. But Angela... Uh, this is still a shocking Angela. move because we were led to believe that Montecito was where that created their life. You know, this mansion with the 16 bathrooms, that was their dream home. And, you know, at the palm tree that was shaped as a love heart and they never <laughs> wanted to leave. Now. Megan doesn't know who she is. She doesn't have an identity. She doesn't. She's restless. And nothing is going to make her happy because she had it all. She just had it all in a place that she didn't want to be. She had that opportunity to be in that place and look how she treated it and did that. And no, she was allowed to become globally known and liked. Then she left, but that wasn't it. She still had the opportunity to still become because people were still giving her the benefit of the doubt, especially over here in the United States. And I was like, no, 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 she's wrong. Maybe if she had to stay five years, I could see that. But she didn't. I said, she's leaving too soon. I said, she hasn't even been over there long enough to even know. I said, something is wrong with this person. Look how we are chasing after a dream. She's chasing after something. And guess who don't even know what they're looking for? Megan. All she knows is that it's somewhere out there. It's either being with the A-listers. It wasn't being with the, uh, with the Royals. Mm -mm. It was never going to be. She set the stage. She invited all those royal, all the A-list royalty to her wedding. She didn't invite their Kardashians. She didn't think they were good enough. Or, mm -mm. Now she hanging out with them. Now she wants to be their best friends. Now, now they hug. And now um, Doria is hanging out with her. Mm-hmm. The woman with the sex tape. Now they want to be her friend. Not the reality TV star. Mm -hmm. I went too deep. <laughs> no. Yes, she had it all. Now, like at my other video, she's trying to get it again. It's over. You had it. You'll never have that status again. You'll never have that kind of love and admiration from people again because of the trashing and the lying and the blaming and all of that. I don't think people are looking at saying, oh, there goes Megan and Harry like they're seeing someone famous. I think they're saying that, I would be saying that it's like, ooh, there go Harry and Megan. You know, and all the stuff that they've done, it just rushes. Mm -hmm. It's there. And so I don't think people, I don't, I don't think people see them as celebrities, as stars. 
I don't see, I don't think they see them as that. But Megan is thrusting herself and we're seeing it at real time in a real, real setting. I bet Tyler Perry, I have to assume, he was probably shocked to see her. But what was Harry? Why wasn't Harry down there on the floor with her? Okay, there was a scene. She was down there on the floor and you could see it. And I thought I saw Tyler Perry looking in her direction or doing something. But I didn't see Harry. And it just looked... It doesn't matter. She is looking like a desperate person. Trying to get... Even if she's not, what is it? What is the fascination, Megan, to be rubbing shoulders with celebrities? Because her goal, her ultimate goal, her ultimate thing to do was to get and be where she's at right now with the A-listers. Probably a little bit more respected, though. Because she wasn't the star of the show. But I believe that she needs, she's networking so that telling them about her tag and her new adventure that's coming out very, very soon. And she needs their support. I don't know. <laughs> but it looked desperate. Let's see what they say. That is very close to Hollywood. I don't think Harry wants to be in Malibu. Mm -hmm. They went to spend a short time in Los Angeles. He hated it. He doesn't want to be with celebrities. And I think that's quite a statement. Megan? Megan. Maybe that's why he wasn't on the floor with Megan because he didn't want to be down there. He didn't want to party in that atmosphere. He probably said, okay, I'll go out with you, but I'm leaving. Because some kind of way she changed her shirt or she went twice. In the it didn't make sense that she went. It feels like there was a, a semi after part. I don't know. Because we've been seeing them really hanging out and upping their A-list exposure over the last week. A-list exposure. Megan actually went twice. You know, she was posing as Megan Kerry Washington. If, was, if he was absolutely more depressed than he's ever been. But then he went to the football the, the next yes. night, didn't he? Yes. Uh, with lots of celebrities. He yes. went to see uh, Lionel Messi play. Yeah, he behaved like a baby, didn't he? He was sulking on the first day, and then the next time when he goes to the football, you know, he's sort of, oh, oh, you know, so excitement. So I think it's very... <laughs> and, and she's trying to say that Harry didn't have a good time at the um, concert. <laughs> I don't know what Harry was doing. He was trying to dance, and then I saw him fake hugging his wife. It was... It's so, it's so. Is that you, Rocky? Hold on. So, he was creeping a little bit. He's going blind in one eye. He's getting, he's getting up there in age. Oh. You want to hang out with my mom? Okay. Let's get back to the program then. Hang on. Strange to be moods that you go from one to the other. But I think about the, the home. I think Megan is one of these people, and we've been told that by lots of people who know her, that she's never satisfied with anything. She uses situations. Okay, yeah, that's where I want to get to. She's not satisfied. Nothing makes her happy. It blows my, blows my mind. She was at the Lion King premiere meeting Beyonce and meeting Jay-Z and finna see their film for the first time. And she couldn't even live in the moment and enjoy and be excited about that and them. She started having her husband solicit work for her. That's how I know that the other night at the Beyonce concert, that was work for Megan. She was working. She was not having fun. <laughs> she never is. She's never in the moment. There's always drama wherever she go. In the Fuji thing, she was running out of there like, I, I don't want to be here. Like something was after her. Like she was too good to be there. No, she didn't want to be there. She didn't want to do that kind of work. She wants to be down there hanging on the dance floor, you know, doing it with the, with the A-listers. And so she couldn't get there through talent. So she had to use Harry to get in the front door. Oprah didn't know who she was. 
she found out quickly as soon as she was marrying Harry. Oh, I want to talk to you, Megan. I want to talk to you. And I don't believe her, Tyler Perry and Megan are like this. I just don't. I don't. Maybe they are. Uses Ooh. people until they Uses used them her. until and their I think notes. That's what happens? You know, she's got lots of people who know her that she's never satisfied with anything. She uses situations and she uses people until they're no use to her. And I think that's what happens. You know, she's got her house sorted out. It was her Simple. dream house. She wanted to be near the sea, but she used to go there when she was a small girl. That ain't gonna be. She ain't gonna be happy there. Megan is hopping houses like she hopped husbands. And now she finna hop, she hopping houses. From Canada to the UK, to the UK, to back to Canada. And now we're in the United States at Tyler Perry's house. And then, like he said, Dan Wooden, you was in love with this house because of this heart tree thing that the, ooh, you just had to have it. You couldn't afford it, but you had to have it. And you didn't want to go window shopping. Why Why go look at stuff if you can't buy it? Mm -mm. So now she's looking at Malibu, something for, you know, a little bit more. The the lot itself is $8 million, okay? And then to the build on top of that is going to be another, what, 10 <laughs> Okay. So they're going to break. They're going to do all of that. No, I believe what she says. She uses people and then she's done with them. They're grifters. They have been, people have been warned. You can't get it no better than that. You can't get a CEO to ever come out and give you someone's resume right there. That's it. If you want to continue, if you want to lose money or lose your reputation and your whatever you got going on, then choose these two. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. You okay, Pudiana? Uh, and she likes that. But once she's got it, she doesn't want it anymore. She wanted something else. Yeah, she's and bored with it. With she's bored with it. Okay, I'll put you down. She's bored. She's like, okay, I'm done with that. What's next? Who else can I? She's bored with Harry. She is. She's ready to use someone else. But uh-uh, you can't go nowhere. You need him. You need him. <laughs> she's bored. She's done with the, okay, now you, you down there with the A-listers, now what? You, you finally got what you wanted, to be around this group of people. How did it feel? All her careers. To be in it. Politics, whether it's um, having a website, whether it's writing books, you know, it, there's so many things that the PRs are now saying she's up to do that... She's trying to figure out what she can do that people will buy. People will look and want. And so she's all over the place. Should I do films? Should I go back to acting? Should I do reality TV? That's where you're at. Reality TV. <laughs> I will tell Andy Cohen I want a whole bunch of money. I'll do reality. I want all of it. <laughs> um, it it's, all, it's all rubbish, actually, I think. She's not happy. It would actually happen. He'll never he be able to make her happy. He no one will. Scared, and, but he's, he's so depressed now. After she he, becomes president, that that would just become whatever to her. Like, whatever. What's next? I, I just, I, I think it's almost like she gets a rush on, on fulfilling those little board things that she had plastered. But, oh no, now you're trying to come out with something and you don't have a fan base because the Sussex Squad ain't as big as you thought. It's not. Oh, did you get out, pumpkin? <laughs> he got kicked out. <laughs> In other words, my husband put him in here. Anyway, no. Mm -mm. I came up with something. I forgot what I was saying. Shoot. No. I, yeah. 
Yeah, Megan has reduced herself down to, I'm trying to get back to the top. But she can't. She, I don't think that anything, I think that if she became president, that it would become bored to her and she'd be like, what's next? Like, I don't think she gets fulfillment off of things because she had a billion and two reasons to have, to be excited and happy and joyous and living her best life as Harry's wife in the UK. But she didn't see any of it because she didn't even tell us in any of her floppy series. She didn't say, well, thank you, queen, for throwing, for, for, for inviting me in, for accepting me. No, she didn't say that. Mm -mm, she was too busy blaming. And those friends in Hollywood that know who she is because you hang around her most know that they that she is not the on the up and up. She's a user. Mm -hmm. As soon as she can figure out what she can use you for, mm -hmm, we're good. You know, say, well, I'm not coming. So he'll stay in Montecito. Montecito. Over there I love the way Angela says Montecito. M Montecito. <laughs> it's so cute. I love it. I would never correct her. She can say it however she wants to say it. As a matter of fact, I should change it. Montecito. <laughs> I'm going to see how she says it. I love it. And she's near where all these deals are done. She wants to be close to Hollywood, don't yes, she? Yes, absolutely. But look, also breaking tonight, and this is big news, Donald Trump, who has chosen to skip the recent Republican presidential debates ahead of next year's election, has told... Donald Trump says, listen, I don't need to debate any of you guys. I wonder why. Is he afraid that they're going to bring up his indictments? Why would he care? It's public knowledge. I'll be like, that ain't got nothing to do with me, like, uh, beating you in November. <laughs> mm -mm. I don't know what's going to happen with Donald Trump, but, you know, they better figure it out quick because he does have a chance of being, the, I doubt it. <laughs> but you got to give him an A for trying. Donald Trump didn't want to debate any of the people from his party to, to go head to head. Can you, he opted out. <laughs> I don't want to do it. That's how popular he is. He doesn't, he's beating all of them though. I think <laughs> in his party, in the Republican party, um, he said he wants to deb debate Megan. I would love to see that. Could you imagine <laughs> Trump and Megan a debate? He would eat her alive. <laughs> he would. But I was just wondering if Trump would just give us a little bit of what he would say. And why would he want to debate her as if she was going out for president? He would eat her up in that too because she doesn't know what's going on. Well, the U.S. radio host Hugh Hewitt, okay. that there is one person he'd love to go up against, Meghan Markle. <laughs> Listen to this. I didn't like the way she dealt with the queen. I became very friendly with the queen. She was an incredible woman. 95, she was so sharp. She was 100%. When you watch Biden, you say, this is a different planet. But uh, they treated her with great disrespect, and I didn't like it. And uh, I didn't like the idea that they were getting U.S. security when they came over here. Now, I, I think it's uh, it's not a good situation going on with uh, the two of them. But I didn't know that they don't like it. Somebody mentioned it might be so possible. They wouldn't be the only ones. Okay, but we didn't hear it there, but they... Yeah, we missed it. Why show it, Dan Wooden? I want to hear him say it. I want to hear Trump say that he would love, but he was upset. He was disappointed in Megan for treating the Queen that way. Everybody knows that. See how it goes right back to what it, what was really happening, and not all this fakery. Let's be friends with the socialites and let's get back to business. No. 
Your brand is in there, wrapped up and thrown away and put in the trash toilet. And now it's gone. And no matter who you take a picture with, no matter what plane you ride on, you could ride on Joe's plane, Joe Biden's plane. It wouldn't change how people feel about you. And that is so unfortunate because some people can do what she's doing and change it around. Some people can hang out with the socialites and then be like, oh yeah, let's forget about what they did. No, not these two. I wouldn't be surprised if we started getting blamed for her getting bad publicity or her TIG not going well because she just got through blaming some more stuff. She just opened up and started blaming something on the ghost writer. It was the ghost writer's fault that Harry, all this. No, you decided that you and Harry was going to make money by trashing his family. And this idiot agreed to it. And then while you were trashing, didn't say anything nice. Name one thing. I want Sussex Squad. This is for you. Name one thing in Megan's docu-series. Uh, Oprah show. Harry's book. Anything that she has said nice about the family, each and every one of them and the country. Not one thing, it was bash fest, Megan. And you couldn't help but to be like, that don't even, it didn't roll that way. And you, this girl is just flat out lying. And look at the millions of people that's going to believe her lie because they, because, they trust her. You trust what she says. And then come to find out years later, oopsie. Uh-uh, uh-uh, here we go. Unconscious bias? No, I want those people that are saying unconscious bias. Do you know that Harry wasn't even, Megan wasn't even, they wasn't even married or a couple they were a couple. They were talking about it. And they asked a question, innocent question. And she took it there. Now she's trying to, she's coming out. She's been trying to come out for a very long time. But hmm, it's never a good time. It's not today. In the radio People host, are still upset. Say, People are still sore. People are still getting over her. She won't. Shh. And let people do that so that they can forgive her. Mm -hmm. Be like, oh yeah, that happened a long time ago. Who cares? No. Mm -mm. Would you want this TV debate with Megan? And he says, yes. Oh, Trump. Yeah. But the chances of getting. To say, would you want this TV debate with Megan? And he says, yes. Oh, they yeah. asked him that. But the chances of getting her are very, very small. I mean, he could eat her for breakfast, couldn't he? But I think she might do it if she was really Money? serious about being a politician. Because no, you know, she wanting to be a politician. You have to fight with that. He will eat her alive. He will. All he got to do is ask her some questions about what's going on in the world and, the, and here and there and da 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 da. What what you do? She just wants to be that because it sound it's fun. It's something great. It's powerful. Everybody will know my name. Like. You know what I'm saying? Not because of the job, not because of taking care of people and wanting to be a part of the, the American dream and da 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 da. No, she wants to be in politicians for her own selfish, pocket and money reason. She has been trying to capitalize on the Duchess of Sussex since she landed down and hasn't been able to push it. Oh, okay. 
She will do whatever sticks, whatever was going to make her money, whatever's going to make her rich and famous, whatever's going to make her. She hired WME to make her into a mega goop brand, Kardashian brand. And the Duchess of Sussex brand is not even existing because of them. Let's see how far it goes. How long we've been talking about the brand? How long she's been fighting for the brand? How long we have been seeing Megan in the Titanic still pushing brand me, me, Malibu? Beyonce, I want to take a picture with this starlet. I want to get closer. I want to be a, here, a producer, something. But just can't quite get it. She knows it's there, but she can't quite get it. No, it's not there anymore. No one's listening. Other people, you have to have discussions. You have to win arguments. But I think she doesn't because I think underneath she's got a very thin skin. She won't want to be attacked by him. And she, her questions are tailored to what she wants people to ask her. She's not going to have no real interview, that fake interview with Oprah Winfrey. That wasn't no interview. No, what they're going to do is, why in the hell did you say it was, they was racist and they wasn't? Then you came back later, they will dig everything she thought. If she was a yacht girl, we would find out. If she did have a surrogate, this is the time we would find out. They will leave nothing unturned. They, look what they did to Trump. They dug Stormy Daniels up. Do you hear me? <laughs> and the rest of them. They will eat her for breakfast. And we will know where Dory has been. Or where she was. Or maybe she wasn't anywhere. But she wasn't there. But ain't she reaping the benefits. <laughs> you can't tell Dory or nothing. She got her phone out. Doria. Got her phone out taking pictures. And her husband at home with a stroke. Her ex. That's that crazy stuff. My family would be talking about me. Mm -hmm. I would be. Oh, I'd be talking about myself. That is a shame. <laughs> All right. Come on, y'all. Let's get this. She could get out of it. I say, well, look, he's been accused of so many things. He could be put into prison. I wouldn't dare speak to somebody who's said like that. Yeah. And she didn't go in in 2019 when he went to see the Queen. Um, she just, she had uh, Archie's a no. prospect, though, isn't it? A TV debate between yeah, Donald Trump and Meghan Markle. And he said, actually, I want to do this. Yes, but, I mean, he's, <laughs> he, he might not at the last minute. Both of them might not at the last minute. Mm -mm, Trump would. I think it is, yes. I mean, I he will do it. Thought, you know, I want to be in politics. I want to be yeah, in the White well, House. That's what I said, but I don't it think would be you... a TV audience like we've never seen no, before. If she didn't debate. get the, if she didn't win the argument, she would be in the most terrible state and she wouldn't let herself do that. It would be humiliating. And he doesn't care what he calls anybody. He would just go, oh, whoosh. No. That's true. That's true. Absolutely. Brilliant stuff as ever. Thank you so much. Yeah, no, she cares about her reputation too much. Okay, I got one more, guys. Okay, so this is U.S. Weekly. Mm -hmm. And these ladies talk about Meghan and Harry every now and then. And so they were just talking about their projects and stuff like that. I'm going to let you hear the end of what she says, and then we're going to go into the real segment. But this is what she's hoping. Let's do this. Check. It was the perfect personal memento that was secretly hidden in the dress. I, I love that. And so this was the fact. Something about a blue, um, something blue that was hidden in Megan's dress. She didn't, it wasn't a secret because she didn't tell everybody. 
fabric of the dress that she wore for her first date with Harry, and oh. luckily it was blue. <laughs> yeah, that's such a sweet story. You know, I'm sort of, I think a lot of us are like, okay, have we seen her in a gingham dress on Instagram? Can uh-huh. we figure out which one it was? We're but, done with that yeah, fake fairy this, tale. This little tidbit. I mean, that dress is just, it's part of history. It's really amazing to think about how, you know, historical it will, it will be one day, and somewhere in that hem is just a little bit of blue fabric, you know, reminding them of something blue, but also the, you know, the romance of their first Not if they're going to get a so divorce. Sweet. I love it. And they have been having some date nights uh, recently. They were at the Beyonce concert. Um, so they're definitely getting out and about. Harry was at um, a football game or soccer game that we like to call it here and seeing uh, Lionel Messi. So it seems like they are getting out and about a little bit more and, you know, stepping back out into the spotlight a bit. Definitely. I mean, we've saw them sort of hot, not hiding, but laying low for a while in the beginning of the year. I think now. They wasn't laying low for a while. Laying low is laying low. And you will never be able to lay that low for us to ever forget. We can forget, but we won't ever forget because it's still it's in your ear. <coughs> They're getting back out there. Come on. Confident, ready to step out and have some fun. And hopefully that means that we have some exciting projects coming up uh, in the autumn for them to share with us. Definitely. Well, speaking of these projects, let's break down the royal rules. And like we said with Harry's uh, new Invictus documentary and Megan possibly relaunching the TIG. You know, I know TMZ reported this week that maybe next month there could be a relaunch. So we wanted to check in with David Johnson, who is a PR expert, to see if these are the right moves. PR expert. And Harry and Megan have definitely been in the... Okay, let me just... He is a PR expert. News a little bit more lately. He just released this Invictus documentary on Netflix. What do you make of this move? I know that this has been in the works for a while, but is this something that Harry should continue to focus on, kind of get back to his roots? He really should. But we also know, too, that have really contracted with Adam Lilly, who uh, really helped relaunch uh, Nicole Kidman, Kidman and Matthew McConaughey with their branding, and that's what they're trying to do. And I think, though, also, Harry realizes he's got to soften his image. Between the book uh, and other actions, he's come across as the petulant child mm-hmm. to many. And he's rivaling Prince Andrew right now in unpopularity. And Andrew actually seems like he's somewhat recovering, believe it or not, uh, being with uh, Prince uh, William and Kate Middleton, also dining with uh, King Charles. Oh, wow. So Harry has... That is a sign song. that you can hang out with a who's who and your popularity can start making its way back up. Okay. Let's see if it works for her. In his image. I totally agree with you. But Megan. it didn't seem like this docuseries really connected with audiences. It really wasn't in the Netflix top 10 for very long. But it does show Harry, like we were kind of saying, what he does best, helping other people. Is that still a win, though, even though this wasn't a huge commercial success? But it did show him in a different light. It's a slight win. Mm-hmm. The problem for Harry is his brand has been damaged so severely with all this controversy. It's never going to climb back to where it was before. What's it? I don't know where they're seeing the win at. And maybe it's doing better than we thought, the Invictus. But I don't see the win. It was supposed to be a bigger win. But he went on there, you know, talking about other stuff and screws that up. I mean, he would have to really do uh, 360. He'd have to apologize and admit that he was... In order for them, to, for Harry's popularity to turn around, it's going to take more than an Invictus and a lot more charity work and a lot more time. He doesn't have a talent or a say or a thing to do to change his... Because they're going full speed ahead. Megan and Harry are not apologizing or saying that they're sorry or admitting that they did anything wrong. No, it's what they said was correct and they meant everything that they said in their endeavors and they're moving on. Harry's reputation will never be at the level it was. He will gain some popularity back 
but it will never be at that level and it won't be right now. And so is Megan's. And, oh, I wonder how that happened. I wonder how Harry's reputation just happens to go pummeling all of a sudden. Prince uh, William and Kate Middleton also dining with uh, King Charles. So Harry has to do something to soften his image. I totally agree with you, but it didn't seem like this docuseries really connected with audiences. It really wasn't in the Netflix content for very long, but it does show Harry, like we were kind of saying, what he does best, helping other people. Is that still a win though, even though this wasn't a huge commercial success, but it did show him in a different light? It's a slight win. Mm -hmm. The problem for Harry is his brand has been damaged so severely with all this controversy. It's never going to climb back to where it was before. I mean, he would have to really do a uh, 360. He'd have to apologize, admit that he was wrong, even say that he lied to regain favor. And that is... In order for Harry to come back, he will have to soften his image, admit that he was wrong, and to apologize. That's what he said. And Harry ain't doing none of that. Because that would mean that Megan lied. And so she's not admitting that she lied. She didn't lie about the car chase in Manhattan. And she didn't lie. This is her brain. And she didn't lie about the racism. She didn't lie about them pushing her out or pushing her in. Whichever, which, depending on who you're talking to. If you're talking to Tyler Perry, they were trying to keep them in. If you're talking to Megan, they was pushing them out. <laughs> the reputation is over. It is extremely damaged and it's over. It will never be at the level that it was. In other words, Megan managed to kill what she wanted the most. Popularity. A, repu a popularity, a great reputation, people loving her and knowing her and wanting her to be president. No. It's broke. God, I don't want to go too far back. And the other thing that Netflix and other brands are going to be uh, his wives. Yes, but it did show him in a different light before. Mm -hmm. I mean, he would have to really do a uh, 360. He'd have to apologize, admit that he was wrong, even say that he lied to regain favor. And that is something we're not going to see. And if you look at polling in the UK, in the United States, his number, along with uh, his wife's, have just plummeted completely. And you don't... P plummeted. In the United States of America, the UK, it was already gone. It plummeted. How is a TIG going to do this? By her smooching with the other A-listers and hoping that they support her and give her a shout out so their supporters can do it? Or is the verdict out and people are done? This is it. This is her last whatever. What is she going to do? Star in a film with uh, Tyler? He going to pay her millions? Because she going to think she's worth all that. And I don't think she plays in no kind of, those kind of shows. Because she, I don't know if she, mm -mm. my dear and them. <laughs> Come back fully from that. He does need to go back to his roots. He needs to focus on the Invictus Games and other charity work go to back. recover even somewhat. Mm -hmm. Do you think that he needs to go and continue to do that so he can recover somewhat? This was the, this is the Invictus Games when he went on there talking about himself and how his family wasn't supporting him. That was his moment to have a win. He didn't win that one. He set himself back because it could have just went smoothly without all of that. He's telling him, Harry, Harry's reputation will never be at the height that it was. Ever. The damage is done. He needs to apologize 
for lying. But Harry will never do that. But as we see it, both of their reputations in the United States have plummeted. They are box office poison. So if they want to hang out with the poison, that's on them. The verdict is out in every outlet. Friendships, check. They don't have that. Family, they don't have that. Check. Talent, they don't have that. Mm -mm. You, it, they crushed it. They don't have a country. Megan and Harry against the world. I wouldn't even have them say that. I ain't against nothing. I'm trying to get with it. <laughs> mm -mm. She doesn't. Know, she can't relate to people. That's why she's failing. She couldn't relate to Harry's people in the UK. She couldn't relate to them because if she could have, she could have still had some popularity there by reaching out and being a part of something better. Nope. Thinking about herself. I'm talking about uh, that's somebody that's real. <laughs> Megan is not. Megan is self-centered, self on me. Look at me. It's about me. And it's time for me to shine. And Harry, we're going to Malibu. We're getting this $8 million home. We're getting over there. I am not leaving my dream now. You can go, but I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying right here. I didn't get to the eight list or spot to leave. No, she's not removing herself from them. She's getting closer. She's pushing herself up against these people. They ain't got a choice. They have to be her friend. Netflix considers this a loss, though. If it's like I said, yes, not Netflix that considers this a loss. A lot of audiences aren't really connecting with it. Okay. All right. So I heard that Megan was with the Netflix CEO. Well, I'm not surprised because Megan's holding his money. They need to connect. They need to have a relationship because they invested in these two. I heard, I heard, was it Spotify is about to lose a billion dollars. That's what I heard on, um, on, um, uh, <laughs> the Royal Rogue because of Meghan and Harry, their decision to sign them up. It's one of them streamers losing money. I said that they're going to start losing money from these two. If you if you have a brand that you want that is here and you want to keep it here, don't let them touch it. It's simple. But if you do, it, people are going to start questioning you. Your own fans are going to start questioning you. Why are you hanging out with her? She just the queen. She she let me tell you something. I don't think Harry and Meghan realize the damage that they have done. But they go on. I mean, they've put a lot of money behind them. So do they consider this one a loss then? Netflix. They do. And the other thing that Netflix and other brands are going to be looking at is... Netflix consider this a loss. They look like they were having fun the other night. They must have knew it was going to be a loss before they even promoted it. This is a loss. They keep losing money. That's a loss. Losing money. How is that a win? It's so oh, oh, it's a win for Harry in some circles. But Netflix is continually, constantly losing money behind these two grifters. One that promised them all this stuff. That they were going to do. One day in line. I will never forget this. And I always. Because this is receipts. Begging and asking Disney. For a voiceover for his wife. Mm -hmm. Before Megan got married to Harry. When she was dating him. She was setting up meetings. Doing all kinds of things. Everything. And then once 
that they were dating came out. She canceled it all because Wendy Williams said that she was supposed to be meeting up with um, with with her to do something on the show. So Megan was willing and dealing when she was hanging out with him. No, he said it's a loss it's from that How toxic is Harry? And part of the reason why this was a loss was how Earth. toxic he does need to go back to his roots. He needs to focus on the Invictus games and other charity work to recover even somewhat. Mm -hmm. Do you think Netflix considers this a lot? And part of the reason why audiences aren't really connecting Sorry. with it. I mean, they've put a lot of money behind them. So do they consider I really this want you to loss, get then? what he's saying. They do. And the other thing that Netflix and other brands are going to be looking at is how toxic is Harry, and part of the reason why this was a loss was he's Dior. toxic to a lot of the public. Even the rebranding, the big, uh, going to the games, uh, with other Beckhams and others, it's Back. not helping his brand because he's seen by many people as being out of touch, very elitist mm -hmm. as well. And remember, Harry's brand prior to all this controversy was Lucky. he was the down to earth. Uh, wild child. Wow. So he's uppity now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Megan turned him uppity elitist. Like, I'm hanging out with just the A listers and stuff like that. This is what he's saying that how Harry carries himself. He's not touchable. He's not accessible like William. Like, I feel like I know William a lot more. The royal family and they loved him for that and for his charity work he had that common touch very much like his mother did mm -hmm. and now it seems Strip. he's gone full hollywood yeah. and that's affecting his brand as well mm -hmm. even when he talks about his charity work people see it more as trying to come back oh another way to make money money they don't see the sincerity wow. that they used to see with harry wow they see him as i see him as trying to come back some of you respond to me and say, this is just him collecting money and more money. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's how we're going to see them because that's what their brand is built on. Their brand has been built on trashing the royal family and getting money from it. What won't they do? No, his brand is... Is Jack. that the only, like, if you were, you know, if they were your clients, is that the only way that they can really kind expert. of crawl themselves out of this hole and just really just out. make amends with the royal family? That's the, the beginning of their comeback. They need to make those amends. The other thing is they need to go back really to their roots. Mm -hmm. They need to show some compassion. They she said, if they go back and apologize to the royal family, do you think their reputation will start getting better? And he said, yes, they need to go back to their roots. I'm going to let him say it, and then I'll stop. This is probably not the right move, or is this like kind of like her, her only move as well? Doing the charity work, doing what Diana did. They don't need to be doing the Hollywood out of this hole is to really just make amends with the royal family. That's the, the beginning of their comeback. They need to make those amends. The other thing is they need to go back really to their roots. Mm -hmm. They need to show some compassion. They need to be out with ordinary people wow. doing the charity work, doing what Diana did. They don't need to be doing the Hollywood glitter and glamour which they're doing. Okay, I have to pause it. I thought about that earlier. But that's Megan's brand. Harry's brand, that, that's why they don't mix. That's why these two aren't a good match. Well, that's one of the billions of reasons. <laughs> because if you go over there to R-E-R-N-R, -E -R -R, I think, I forgot what station that is. But they have a segment on Megan and Harry, and it is good. And it, it says, all the red flags. And every time it um, something happens, it'll go ding, 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 and it'll show a red flag that oh, this is this is why these two weren't meant to be. <laughs> Let me know about the red flags. I'll post it. Let me know if you guys want me to post it. Apologizing to the royal family because he lied. 
because they were lying on them and what they did to ruin, ruin, try to ruin the family. Go back to his roots. Go back to where it all began. Go back. Fix it there. I've been saying it. You have to fix it with the family first for us to be turning around saying, okay, they're serious. There's nothing soft about these two. They're hard. When Megan was out there dancing and shaking her butt, it was almost like, look at me. I'm out here still, you know, going for my stuff. I'm not giving up on this. I'm going for it. I don't care. You know, like screw everything else and forget all that stuff that happened to me with the royal family. I'm getting my groove on and I'm going to be be something I'm gonna be a star and not seeing that it's a turn off that it's like wow what you know like what is the Sussa squad doing go Megan <laughs> no they cheer her on when she's trashing the family they help they encourage it blows my mind it's almost as if they think that she wants them to trash her in-laws in law. It's weird. No, 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 no. They're going to have to go. They're going to have to go back to her father. They're going to have to go back to Samantha. They're going to have to go back to the drawing board and start creeping their, their way back to society because why would we trust them? I don't trust her that anyone that trusts her should be leery because she is not real and authentic. It's all about her. It's the more thing I wanted to say, but I gotta go. And I would sit back, <laughs> take a step back, and really go quiet. I said that the last time we spoke, and I would again advise them to do that. Mm -hmm. And with Megan step Markle, back. she's fueling all of the speculation. She may uh, bring back T. She may go back on Instagram. There's even talks now with suits being the top rated show on Netflix that she might uh, go back to acting. Phew, that's her. Style all of this back. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that's hurting her too is all these headlines coming out too that there's no peace possible because she'd have to curtsy the Kate Middleton at some point. That hurts your brand. Mm -hmm. And like you said, you mentioned the TIG and there were some reports this week that uh, it may launch as early as next month and could rival Gwyneth Paltrow's Goop. Is this so? Would you tell Megan to hold off on this a little bit longer? This is probably not the right move, or is this like kind of like her her only move as well? It's a move down the road. I would tell her to hold off. The first thing I would tell them to do, if I was advising them, even before they meet with the royal family at the Invictus Games, mm -hmm. stop what you're doing, put it away, wait, fix what you need to fix with the family. Because that's the only way back. Because people see that, oh, the royal family is forgiving you. Oh, this is good. This is good. But people don't even want the royal family to forgive you. <laughs> Let me say that again. The UK does not want Charles to even have anything to do <laughs> with Meghan and Harry. need to show that common touch. They need to show caring. They don't have they it. They also need to show affection toward each other and be seen <laughs> publicly holding hands. Their little affection that we <laughs> used to see between the two of them to help dispel these rumors that we're seeing. You remember how she used to look up at him and, you know, all in his eyes and stuff and like he's the best thing that ever happened. She wasn't looking at him. It was all a part of her fakery act. She wasn't looking at him at the at the at the concert. When she hugged him, she wasn't looking at him. She was all back here with her head on her sh his shoulder. And then when they unembraced, she flicked her head and looked at the stage and started doing this. There's no love there. Everywhere that the marriage is. I think I hear a little bit that they're talking to divorce attorneys. That will help dispel it. The other thing is they need to be real. They need to be original. It does not need to look staged. No, you're so right. And I know Harry is going to be... In it's staged. He's saying that it's staged. It looks staged. <laughs> I mean, it just does. She's acting. And Harry didn't want to be there. 
He wasn't having it. He wasn't doing it. He wasn't feeling it. He was sitting up there just staring at the wall, staring in the air. <laughs> in the UK for the Well Child Awards this week, and like, and then it will okay. be going to the Invictus Games. Megan opted not to go to the Well Child Awards. Is that a bad move on her? Part? Okay, so why is she going to support him while he's doing his awards? She's at. She was. He was at hers. That's what I'm saying. They're not together. She drags him to her stuff, but she's not going with him. She's not supporting him in anything. And who cares, right, Harry? Par, I know she does have two small children at home, so she can't leave for that long. And she's got a mom named Doria her. that can keep them, and nannies and everybody else. Or she can take her kids with them so they can see King Charles. But that ain't happening. Good move on her part. No, it was not a good move on her bad part. And it just helps fuel her unpopularity, especially in the United Kingdom. Yes, she does have the two children, but everybody was hoping that she would go. They were also hoping, too, that both she and Harry would try to make some kind of amends with the royal family. Mm -hmm. And the fact that they're not doing that, that they're not trying to reach out, especially uh, with the anniversary of Queen Elizabeth's death, All right. That just really fuels the dislike mm -hmm. and the harm that's been done to their brand. So it's coming up to the Invictus Games. Oh, is this is a big moment for them. You kind of mentioned it before, but is this a big coming out moment? It's you good. Know, he's going to have that time to connect with a lot of people, a lot of the athletes, and, you know, kind of uh, bring him more back down to a human level. It is. If he shows that side of right. him. Right. Mm -hmm. That's the big thing. I mean, he's got it. We all know it because that's why everybody loved Prince Harry. Mm -hmm. But if he doesn't show it, or if it seems staged and unnatural, it's going to really fall back. The other thing that better not happen for him is some damaging headline. Mm. If something comes out that he trashed uh, Kate Middleton or Prince William during the game. Mm -hmm. If that comes out, that's going to create damage. Mm -hmm. and the other thing is, too, and I think he did very well with this, he kind of downplayed all this uh, talk that there's this feud with him and the Beckhams. He did praise the Beckhams just recently. Yeah. He doesn't need any. Just because he praises them or whatever doesn't mean that the feud wasn't there and that he didn't call over there accusing them of leaking stories. You could tell the way the Beckhams are treating him. They don't want to have anything to do with Harry. And why would they? So they can get hurt again? No, the way to do that is for Harry to call and apologize or say something and says, oops, we made a mistake. But no, that's not it. They continue with their lie and the lie stays out there about his wife leaking a story about his wife. And so they get to continue their lies with their story. But Victoria didn't come out and say, you know what, I didn't say that. No, everybody that Megan accuses of doing something or blaming them, blaming something on them, they haven't said anything. They're quiet. A headline like Who that, wants to be her friend? In a feud uh, that he's resentful okay. and he <laughs> needs to stay on message. And the message has got to be... The hairy of old. Stay on message. It's hard for him to stay on message. Message. You know why? Because his wife is constantly telling him that it's his family's fault that everything is falling apart. You see it in the docu series. It's your brother. It's your brother. No, it's everybody always someone else's fault, and she blamed his entire family for her. See. <clears throat> You deal with it, Harry. No, you deal with it because you are the one that put him in this situation. And now he's all twisted. He don't know which way is up and which way is down. And so when he is having a conversation about someone else, this is how he relates to it. Starts talking about himself and his family in a very derogatory way. And how dumb is that Netflix to let him do it? They're never going to get themselves out of a ditch. But, you know, the Invictus is, you know, it's going on the way. But let, let's, let's see what he's saying. The Harry of old. Though, that should be the headline. And hopefully it happens. So is that what you would kind of advise them going forward? That's what I would advise them. And I would also advise when they're together, because she's going to be joining him, that they show their love that we've all seen in the past. They've got to really dispel these rumors. 
So he is really pushing the, the love effect. But if it's not there, it's not there. And you see that. You saw it at the dance-a-thon thing when she was putting her hands around him. It just didn't look authentic. They're not looking in each other's eyes. They're not looking at each other. They're not talking to each other. Because if they seem cold, distant, not close to each other, um, if it's... And it's her. One man, She's not looking in his eyes. And to me, that's a sign of deception. I don't want to look at you, Harry, because I'm deceiving you. He's at another end. That's going to continue to raise the speculation. The other thing is, too, if Harry is the Harry of old, and all of a sudden she appears and he changes and becomes more reserved or somewhat standoffish, that's going to be the question. That's something people are going to be waiting to see, too. Is Harry... I don't care. ...when she is not around? Th th this is old news. This is What does that got to do with anything? Or, or we're trying to see if their relationship is on the up and up. No, you can easily fix it if they decided they wanted to go through counseling and da 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 da. But right now, the relationship is still in shambles. She doesn't look at her husband in a loving, caring way. And he's not there and she's not supporting him. That would show it. No. And, and the fake kisses and all. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. No. Harry's love for her has changed. It's more robotic. It's more, it's not authentic. It's more like a job than it is a actual, an affection. Like, okay, it's time to kiss. Oh, okay, she wants to hug now. Oh, okay, I can put my hand here. Because we've heard all this speculation. She's the cause of all these issues and that he really wants to. She is the cause of all these issues. Who else is it? Who did it? Oh, okay. It'd be different if Harry, if she was in the castle and then she met Harry and Harry was doing all this, then I would be talking about Harry more. But I'm talking about her because she did it. She's the puppet. She changed him. He's different because of her. He's He don't know who he is. As well. How will Harry act when Megan rejoins? All right, well, I guess we're going to have to wait and see. I like happens. his take. But like we said at the top of the show, Sorry. it is back to school time for some Back to kids. school. Kids. Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis will begin Aww. the new year at Lambert School on September 6th. Um, so as we know that they previously attended Thomas Battersea. They not going to a new school. The family's Kensington Palace home in London. But um, as we know that they moved and they are attending a new school, they are attending Lambert School. So... Kicking off the school year, Royals just like us. <laughs> yes, sure. I can't imagine. I wonder if they're as frazzled the first the morning of the first day as the rest of us. Oh my God! I bet it's the same. It's like me. Oh my God! She's going every day. It feels like the first day of school for Kara for me. Even today, and like the teacher, I think she really likes Kara, and she's Kara, you know. And I'm like, okay, is she treating you right, Kara? So this morning on the way to school. I was telling her, listen, don't let anyone hit you or push you. I said, push them back. Just defend yourself, you know. You tell the teacher, but defend yourself. Don't. I'm going to take her to self-defense classes as she gets older because I want my baby to be able to defend herself. She's good at defending herself against me because she's a fighter. <laughs> she hates when I comb her hair. Listen, guys, tell me what you think. Here's my closing thoughts. Megan is, you know, it's not time for her to come out and start branding herself because there's still wounds and issues, unresolved things that haven't been taken care of with the royal family and her own personal family. And it just feels like she's like, you know what, forget all of those problems and let's, you know, suppress them and move on to better and bigger things. But those problems are still going to be there. Because the kids still are a part of royalty. They still have a family over there that probably wants to see them. But how are we supposed to feel love in our heart for Megan when she doesn't have any within herself? They're not trying to make amends. They keep pointing the fingers. And now Harry had this 
horrible childhood. It's ugly how someone can bring out the worst in you instead, the, instead of the best in you. And like they were saying at the end of the conversation, you know, when Harry gets around her, he tenses up. He, he's not his self. He's, he, you know, she's the dominant one and always has been. And is always in control and always will be. And so as long as Harry's with her, this is how it's going to be. He's going to follow her to Malibu. He's going to follow her to Malibu. He's going to follow Megan wherever she goes until it just can't take it anymore. And I don't know if this relationship will ever stand the test of times because of the lies, the deception, the, the trickery of it all. He'll never be able to please Megan, which is the most difficult task for anyone to do. And if he's not going to be able to please her, she's going to be looking for someone that can. But right now, as much as she would love to leave Harry if she could, she knows it's not good for her reputation, her brand, and whatever. So they're together, but they're doing separate things. Mm -hmm. She's over here on this side of the lane, and he's on this side. They're, he's going to be doing Invictus, and then she's going to be doing Hollywood stuff. This gentleman, the PR, said she needs to step back from a moment from the Hollywood life. Because that's all she's been about since she's been over here. Hollywood, 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 Hollywood. Like he said, she keeps coming out with she's going to be doing this and she's going to be doing that. And no matter what she does, it will face scrutiny. Because it has to be able to pass the talent test. And I don't know of one influencer that's going to be making a million dollars right off the back with this type of popularity. It is so unfortunate that it's come to where she has to try to do this. Re, not, it's not a rebrand to, to fix her reputation. Nothing will get done without fixing that. He said it. It's not going, whatever she comes out with, they, they got to start. They got to go back to their roots. He said he's been saying this on this show for a long, long time. I do believe that. I don't believe her way to our hearts is showing us that she can hang out with these A-listers. But you know what? She's not even trying to make amends with the royal family. She wants to be their enemy. It's like she's jealous of Catherine. And the more she feels like she's doing great over here, the better off she's doing better than Catherine. Because Catherine's popularity is better than hers now. I wonder how does that make her feel, knowing that she's at the bottom. Because nobody over there is talking about, and nobody in Montecito is letting us know how they feel about their reputation being at the bottom, but then still trying to hang out with the who's who's. We're going to make ourselves be popular. She smells desperate. You can't tell me that everybody there is not smelling the desperateness and can see it. She's down there on the floor. What is she doing down there? Normally, security is pushing people back because the prince and the princess is coming in the building. That's what they did for Catherine and William. When they went to that Laker game, all eyes was on them. Mm -hmm. And it was security, 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 like the president was there. But Megan, them, I don't think that's happening. No one's stopping and saying, oh, there go Megan. They go Megan and Harry. No, they're going to Kardashian, Kardashians. Kiss this, guys. Have a wonderful night. Don't forget to hit like, leave a comment. My birthday is tomorrow. Please don't forget to wish me a happy... You know what? I'm going to post something about my birthday on the community. And you'll have a chance to wish me a happy birthday on there. Because you know I love your comments. And I would love a happy birthday. Kisses to all of you.